what's going on guys welcome back to mass effect 2 so we are on freedom's progress don't say for the warning we'll take care of them. and we are looking for a dude named uh, Vitor we got a door over there We've been spotted. have we here we go Whoa, where the frick did you come from? I did not see that. Is it hiding in the corner? Wow. Okay. So, um, let's just do this little bypass thingy. Okay, that wasn't too bad. <coughs> yep, 2,000 crits. Okay. So let's see. Use overload on him. Okay, so our disrupts around are really helpful towards the, against those things. Ouch. Yeah, maybe not take a rocket to the face. Shepard, Thraza and his squad rushed on ahead. I told them to wait, but they wouldn't listen. They want to find Vitor and take him away before you get here. We should have expected this. Come on, we can still catch them. else out here mm, not at the moment okay yeah there we go one left I'll take it out then one left. why to veto first get your squad into cover and i'll open the loading bay doors we'll take cover by the doors shepherd you take point okay oh okay yeah i see understood right take point shepherd we'll cover the door Oh, so that's a heavy mech. Wow. Okay. Definitely time for some disrupt rounds here. That mech's got heavy armor plating. Those quarians never stood a chance. This is going to be one tough son of a bitch to take down. Yeah, thanks. Kind of figured that. Yeah, use uh, overload on it. I got it. Missed it. Overload to take out the Wow. <laughs> yeah, but you're still recharging your overload. Get out of the way. Ah. 
Oh, get away. Let's get our shield back up. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay. Come on, hit that thing. Just gonna stand there. Ah, oh, that's almost seems fair. Not fair, right? Down, boy. Holy crap. Yeah, okay. We need to be a lot more care. What the frick did I just activate? I'm gonna need to look at my button layout. I think that was. Uh, oh, yeah, that was uh, the adrenaline rush. Okay, so there's no. Quick use map power to. Can I do that? Oh, push uh, X. So now it's on the left bumper. Okay. So we survived taking down a heavy mech. Anyone else alive out here? Find iridium. Okay. This should come in handy. Research. Okay. Why is it lying there? Didn't we kill it over here? Hmm. Weird. We can go... Is there anything in here? Yes, there is. And some... Messed up... Yeah. This is your chance to go find Vitor while I tend to the wounded, Shepard. He's probably somewhere in the back of the loading bay. Okay. And if our meds are full, we'll get a hundred credit just for picking those up. I'll have to remember that. Monsters coming back. Max will protect. Safe from swarms. Have to hide. No monsters. No swarms. No, 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 no. Okay. You lost, buddy. Vitor? No, Vitor. Not here. <coughs> swarms can't find him. Monsters coming. Have to hide. Hey, I'm talking to you. <laughs> Great. We come all this way, and our only witness is a babbling idiot. Swarms coming. Storm coming. Storm of swarms. Mechs will protect. Yeah, listen the fuck up, dude. You're not one of them. You're human. They they didn't find you? Who didn't find us? The the monsters. The swarms. They took everyone. Why didn't the colonists fight back, Vitor? What happened? You don't know. You didn't see, but I see everything. Looks like security footage. He must have pieced it together manually. What the hell is that? My god. I think it's a collector. Is that some kind of alien? There are species from somewhere beyond the Omega-4 relay. Only a few people have ever seen one in person. They usually work through intermediaries, like slavers or hired mercenaries. They're involved with the Reapers somehow. It could explain what happened to the colonies. The collectors have advanced technology. They could have a weapon that disables an entire settlement at once. The Seeker swarms. No one can hide. The Seekers find you, freeze you, then the monsters take you away. Why didn't the collectors take you? 
Swarms didn't find me. Monsters didn't know I was here. The Collectors aren't known for being careless. Maybe his Enviro suit kept him from showing up on their sensors. Or they were using technology specifically designed to detect humans. Only human colonies have been hit. Hmm. Okay. Tell us about the swarms. Tell me more about these swarms. It's how they find you. Seeker clouds. Machines like tiny insects. They go everywhere. They find you. Then they sting you. Freeze you. Sounds like miniature probes, maybe. Find victims, then immobilize them with a stasis field or nerve toxin. Uh -huh. I want to know more about the Collectors. Nobody knows much. They're so rare a lot of people don't even believe they exist. More importantly, why are they abducting human colonists? What are they after? Maybe the elusive man can figure it out. Hopefully. What happened next? The monsters took the people onto the ship, and then they left. The ship flew away. But they'll be back for me. No one escapes. I think that's probably all we're getting out of them, Commander. We appreciate what you told us. You were very helpful. I studied them. The monsters. The swarms. I recorded them with my Omni tool. Lots of readings. Electromagnetic. Dark energy. We need to get this data to the elusive man. Grab the quarry and call the shuttle to come pick us up. What? Vitor is injured. He needs treatment, not an interrogation. We won't hurt him. We just need to see if he knows anything else. He'll be returned unharmed. Your people tried to betray us once already. If we give him to you, we'll never get the intel we need. Praza was an idiot, and he and his men paid for it. You're welcome to take Vitor's Omnitool data, but please, just let me take him. Yeah, you could come with us. You don't have to take Vitor and go. We could work together, just like old times. I'm still trying to accept that you're even alive, and you're with Cerberus. I've got responsibilities now. I've got a mission of my own. I can't walk away from that. Not even for you. Okay, let's just take his Omni tool then. He's off his wits anyway, right? He's traumatized and he needs medical care. Tally will give us the Omni tool data and take him to the flotilla. Understood, Commander. Thank you, Shepard. I'm glad you're still the one giving the orders. Good luck out there. If I find anything that can help you, I'll let you know. We're ready for pickup. Okay, so now we have collectors. I'm guessing they are some sort of the baddies in this one. Can't wait to fight them. Shepard, good work on Freedom's progress. The Quarians forwarded their findings from Vidor's debriefing. No new data. But it's a surprising olive branch, given our history. You and I have different methods, but I can't argue with your results. You ever think about playing nice once in a while? Diplomacy is great when it works, but difficult when everyone already perceives you as a threat. But more importantly, you confirm the Collectors are behind the abductions. Why do I get the feeling you knew about them already? I had my suspicions, but I needed proof. The Collectors are enigmatic at best. They periodically travel to the Terminus systems, looking to gather seemingly unimportant items or specimens, usually in exchange for their technology. When their transactions are complete, they disappear as quickly as they arrived, back beyond the unmapped Omega-4 relay. Until now, we've had no evidence of direct aggression by the Collectors. Okay. Why is the Omega-4 relay unmapped? What do we know about it? Only that no ship passing through it has ever returned. Our best guess is that the relay reacts differently to collector vessels, allowing them safe passage. If they can manipulate relays, that's just further evidence of the connection with the Reapers. Hmm. So we're not going Any through that, I guess. Any ideas on why they've shifted their focus to humans? If they're agents for the Reapers, it could be any number of reasons. Obviously, humanity played a huge role in Sovereign's destruction. That might have been enough to draw their attention. What really concerns me is why they bother abducting the colonists. Once the humans are paralyzed, why not just kill them? Yep. Raising a, some good questions. What are the Collectors getting from these deals? The Collectors aren't very forthcoming about their motives. 
Generally, they seek out species with rare genetic mutations or abnormalities. They pay slavers and work groups exorbitant sums to obtain these specimens, and then they leave. But they've never targeted a single species before, and the previous sample sizes were in the dozens, not the tens of thousands. Okay. You're holding something back. How do you know the Reapers are involved? The patterns are there, buried in the data. The Consul and the Alliance want to believe the Reaper threat died with Sovereign. You and I know better. I won't wait until the Reapers are on the march. We need to take the fight to them. If this is a war, I'll need an army. Or a really good team. I've already compiled a list of soldiers, scientists, and mercenaries. You'll get dossiers on the best of them. Finding them and convincing them to work with you could be challenging, but you're a natural leader. I'll continue to track the collectors. <coughs> when they make their next appearance, I'll notify you and your team. Be ready. Miranda and Jacob aren't enough. How many do you need to keep me in check? I've made it clear to Miranda and Jacob that you're in charge. You decide who joins your squad. Thanks. Everyone else on this list was chosen specifically for this mission. They're the best. I'll do the best I can with what you've given me. I'm sure you will. Before you go, two things. First, head to Omega and find Morden Solus. He's a brilliant Solarian scientist. Our intelligence suggests he may know how to counteract the Collector's paralyzing Seeker swarms. Sounds helpful. Sounds good. And what else? I found a pilot I think you might like. I hear he's one of the best. Someone you can trust. Oh, it's Joker. Hey, Commander. Just like old times, huh? I can't believe it's you, Joker. Look who's talking. I saw you get spaced. Got lucky. With a lot of strings attached. How'd you get here? It all fell apart without you, Commander. Everything you stirred up, the Council just wanted it gone. Team was broken up, record sealed, and I was grounded. The Alliance took away the one thing that mattered to me. Hell yeah, I joined Cerberus. You really trust the elusive man? Well, I don't trust anyone who makes more than I do. But they aren't all bad. <laughs> Saved your life, let me fly, and there's this. They only told me last night. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. They recreated the Normandy for us, but an SR2. The Normandy was uh, the SR1 model, the original. Freaking awesome, and it looks gorgeous. I guess we'll have to give her a name. Normandy SR2. Frick yeah. Oh my god, I've gotten so much about this game. Only Pretty much the only thing I remembered from the original was that the elusive man and Miranda was in this one. Otherwise, I'm totally blank. Gain some squad points. Collectors confirmed uh, as source of attacks on Freedom Progress. Quarian survivors Vito returned with Tali Sora to the migrant fleet. We'll examine, uh, we'll examine his Omnitool data for anything useful. Microfusion array, plus 15% uh, weapon ammo capacity. Beautiful. Cerberus funding and found credits, total of 20,000 and we found some Iridium. Cool.
familiar yet new. Welcome aboard the new Normandy, Commander. I've been looking over the dossiers. I'd strongly recommend starting by acquiring Morden Solus, the Salarian professor on Omega. We know the Collectors use some type of advanced technology to immobilize their victims. We'll need him to develop a countermeasure to protect us. Makes a hell of a lot of sense. And without that countermeasure, we'll be helpless if we ever run into the Collectors. Acquiring Professor Solus seems like the most logical place to start. Who are you? I am the Normandy's artificial intelligence. The crew like to refer to me as Edie. Edie. Okay. Yeah, Joker's not gonna like this. Helmsmen aren't happy when someone takes control of a ship away from them. Especially Joker. I do not helm the ship. Mr. Moreau's talents will not go to waste. During combat, I operate the electronic warfare and cyber warfare suites. Beyond that, I cannot interface with the ship's systems. I observe and offer analysis and advice. Nothing more. Cool. Now that we've established who's in charge, let's move on to these dossiers. Final preparations for takeoff are complete, Commander. When you're ready to go, just pick a destination from the galaxy map and the CIC and I'll plot a course. Jacob and I should return to our posts. Come find us if you have any questions. Galaxy map used to pick new destinations. Yep. <coughs> Private terminal. Get status updates on your squad. Oh. Armory, select weapons for your squad. Elevator to get to the Normandy's other decks. Captain's quarters, customize appearance. Tech lab, acquire the professor to research upgrades for your squad's equipment. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, okay. Must be all the uh, dossiers. Okay, let's go to the journal and check them out. Holy crap. Dossier the Convict, Archangel, the Warlord, the Professor, Council of the Veteran, the Master Chief, Stop the Collectors. And Normandy Crash Site. The Alliance found the wreckage of the SSV Normandy are on the planet Alchera. They've asked um, that a monument be placed on the site and any sign of remaining 20 missing crew to be recovered. Okay. Project Firewalker. Service Project Firewalker has reported that a survey ship has gone missing near the planet Siona. The ship was carrying researchers and a proper prototype planet site exploration vehicle when it went missing. Servers was asked that the vehicle be recovered and that any sign as to the whereabouts of the researchers will be reported. The Master Thief. Katsumi Goto. Said Masani. Council, Morden Solus, Dr. Okia, Archangel, Small Unit Tactics uh, Expertise, Omnitool Expert, and Noted Sniper, The Convict, Jack, no last name, okay, uh, The Professor. Ask Aria about Morden. Talk to Aria at Afterlife for information about Morden's Solus. Cool. Welcome aboard, Commander. We have Edi, uh, Edie right there. A scientist is required to use the technical laboratory. Okay. That's a few to keep me in check.
choose loadouts. Okay, so nothing. Okay. Don't have any, really have anything to change between. Commander, there hasn't been time to really settle in and take stock. I want to say that working with you is a great opportunity to do something that matters. It's a privilege to serve on the Normandy, Commander. You may change your tune if we end up like the original Normandy. Maybe. As long as the elusive man walks his talk, and you do the same, I'll do my best to make sure we succeed. That's been the condition for my service so far. I have issues with certain actions Cerberus has taken in the past. What has Cerberus done to make you nervous? A lot. They've been called terrorists, and with good reason. Doubt you can find a more checkered past. But if the Collector threat is real, and we do something about it, Cerberus will be remembered differently. Or we'll all be tried and executed. Can't count on people thinking about it as hard as I have. Okay. It's good to hear a clear opinion. Sounds like we're two of a kind. That honors me more than you, Commander. Let me know if you need anything. Oh, we can look at all the weapons. But I guess we have to maybe unlock them. Huge reactor, I guess. Brief room, comms room. Okay. What's this area of the ship? This is the FTL communications room. In addition to interfacing with the FTL comm network, Normandy is fitted with a quantum entanglement communicator linked to the elusive man's office. This allows lag-free communication even when you operate off the comm grid. Why aren't these used everywhere? Each quantum pair costs nearly as much as a comm relay and can pass only one quantum bit of data at a time. In addition to the cost and bandwidth issues, the system is strictly point to point. To contact a hundred different worlds, we would need to manufacture and install a hundred entangled pairs, one linked to each world. Okay, yeah, that sounds complicated and expensive. I've never heard of a quantum entanglement communicator. How does it work? Essentially, two subatomic particles are created in an entangled state. One is installed here, and the other in the elusive man's office. When one particle occupies a given quantum state, its entangled partner will always enter the opposite state, no matter the distance between them. If we alter the state of our particle, that alters the state of the elusive man's. This allows us to send data in the form of quantum bits. Cool. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Tech lab, can't get in there. Oh, we can talk to ED pretty much everywhere. That's neat. Joker would like to see you up on the bridge, Commander. Thanks. Let's go talk to Joker then. Oh, can I examine stuff? Haptic Adaptive Interface Sounds complicated Joker? Can you believe this, Commander? It's my baby! Better than new! It fits me like a glove! And leather seats! Military may set the hardware standard, but on a first-gen frigate they could care less if the seats breathe. Civilian sector comfort by design. Reproduction is not intended to be perfect, Mr. Moreau. Seamless improvements were made. And there's the downside. I liked the Normandy when she was beautiful and quiet. Now she's got this thing I don't want to talk about. It's like ship cancer. I don't trust them. We still need to move ahead, but it's all too convenient. Maybe you're right. I guess it's hard to argue when they install an AI to spy on us. We're staying though, right? I mean, this seat is real leather. Good to see you're keeping it all in perspective, Joker. Well, I'm not gonna argue with him. Um, I would prefer some decent seating if I had to sit there, like, for 
for many hours at a time as well. So, Yeoman Chambers? I'm Yeoman Kelly Chambers. I've been assigned as your administrative assistant. I'll manage your messages and help you monitor the crew. And I must say, it's such an honor to work under you, Commander Shepard. I'm glad to have you on the team, Ms. Chambers. Please, call me Kelly. Okay, Kelly. Anything else? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? Oh, she's really keeping... Do you have a moment to talk? Track I on everything. I have time for you, Commander. Hmm. How do you feel about being assigned to the Normandy? I was handpicked by the Elusive Man to help fight the greatest threat known to humanity. How do I feel? Honored, exhilarated, terrified. But mostly I feel encouraged. Under your leadership, we can't fail. Don't worry. We'll defeat the Collectors. I trust you implicitly. The moment I met you, I knew I could close my eyes, fall back, and you'd be there. Might do more than catch you, Kelly. Now that's an enticing thought. Anything else you'd like to talk about? Um, no. Better go. Not okay. at the moment. Maybe we'll talk later. Okay. Um, can we access our private terminal from here? Yep. Team status. Oh. Okay. Oh, so these are the ones we have the dossiers on. But they're still like. Four, what, four optional? Pretty cool. Upgrades, about upgrades. Um, acquire new upgrades by finding them on missions, purchasing them from stores, or research them using the research terminal. Yep. On red messenger messages. <coughs> Lost contact with the survey ship, Normandy crash site located. Uh, it occurred to our armor technician that I may not want to show your face everywhere you go. They s uh, they're sent by a hood that service issue to its covert operatives. Uh, it has additional microframe functions that you may like. The hood is in your quarters. Okay. Most of these are... Okay. So... Okay. So we can just read these. No more messages. Fine. Let's go see our quarters then. Captain's cabin, crew quarters, engineering. Oh, this is neat. Shepherd's cabin. Medal of Honor. Oh, we can look at our... Ah. Uh huh. Okay, all the achievements we can get in the game. Cool. Private terminal, same as downstairs. We have a little uh, Normandy scale figure in here. Got a big empty fish tank. Okay. Did you say we have a sound system? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, this is pretty cool. I like it. Okay. I don't see how they call this casual. Whoops. 
I'm gonna stick with the hoodie. Cool. We'll just leave the music running. Annoy the frick out of everyone coming up here. Crew quarters? Oh, she's a cutie. How old? Ah, uh, she'll be a year old next month. Oh, you'll miss her first birthday. Well, my family lives in New Canton. Oh, uh, that colony's on the edge of the frontier. Could be vulnerable to collector attack, couldn't it? Exactly. It's most important that she have a first birthday. That's why I'm here. Hmm. I was just thinking, maybe at one point, uh, no, it would have been nice if we could like pick up on stuff, like uh, if we were just listening in, they could like activate uh, little additional side quests. What? What does this say? Life support. Port observation deck. The port observation deck is closed until needed. Okay. <coughs> what we got going Just on? Surprise again. Come on, Rupert. I'm sorry, princess. Filet mignon and caviar coming right up. <coughs> Let me just get on my doily. <laughs> That'd be real nice, Mr. Gardner. <laughs> Commander Shepard, the hero of the Citadel. You did humanity proud that day. As Sergeant Rupert Gardner here. How can I be of service? Do you have everything you need? I make do. But have you ever tried to prepare a decent meal with military provisions? I'm good, but I'm no miracle worker. Taking down the collectors is going to be rough business. The crew deserves a few fine meals before they throw themselves into the fire. Makes sense. What do you need? If I had some quality ingredients... Oh, shit. You've got more to worry about than grocery shopping on the Citadel. Forget I mentioned it. If I head that way, I'll keep an eye out. Much appreciated. Most of this list is probably standard fare for those Namby Pambies on the Citadel. Anything else you'd like to talk about? Hmm. Nah. I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. Yep, back to standing around. Commander. What can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So, what would you like to know? I know what we're doing here, but what's Cerberus' long-term goal? The advancement of the human race. Nothing more, nothing less. The Salarians have the special tasks group. The Asari have their legendary commandos for stealth and recon operations. Cerberus is humanity's answer to those organizations. Hmm. But those organizations are regulated by governments. Who keeps Cerberus in check? Nobody. We're privately funded and our backers trust the elusive man to make the right decisions. But he's very clear about our goals. Protect humanity and serve its advancement. Okay. Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Oh, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. You certainly don't lack for confidence. It's just a fact. My reflexes, my strength, even my looks, they're all designed to give me an edge. No point in hiding from it. It's the reason I'm trusted to oversee the most dangerous, risky, and technically demanding operations Cerberus undertakes. And it's why I was assigned to you. It's my job to make sure you succeed, Shepard. Hmm. What level of genetic modification <coughs> are we talking about? That's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. I heal quickly, and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced. For a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy, and, well, it's pretty impressive, really. It sounds like you were designed to be perfect. Maybe, but I'm not. I'm still human, Shepard. I make mistakes like everyone else. And when I do, the consequences are severe. Everyone expects a lot from someone with my... abilities. 
Thanks for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Whatever you need. So, she's a lot more forthcoming now than she was earlier. Dr. Chakwas? Chakwas? Commander Shepard. I watched the Normandy crumble with you on board. It's good to see you alive. Oh yeah, we saw her in the uh, little intro. Nice to see a familiar face, Doctor. I feel the same. I wish more of the original crew could be here. The kind of trauma you endured would have changed most people. But not you, I see. Welcome back, Shepard. Can we help your work, Do you Commander Bella? you need? I believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original Normandy. Only thing missing were my private reserves. I even had a bottle of Ceres ice brandy that I was saving for a special occasion. Hmm. I'll keep an eye out for a replacement bottle. Oh, you needn't. It's expensive, and we have much larger concerns ahead. I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. Yeah. If we stumble upon it, we will buy it for her. Main battery. The gunnery officer is required to access the gunnery control station. Okay. So far, everyone seems pretty friendly. Only Edie is sort of short with us. But then again, she is an AI, right? Okay. Uh, port cargo hold. Access to this room is currently restricted. Okay. I guess we'll look into that later. We can go downstairs. Engineers, Daniels and Donnelly. What else we got going on down here? Oh yeah, this is the big uh, reactor thingy we saw from up there. Okay. Oh, I see. The time is sort of running away from me so tell you what guys um i am going to take a break here when we come back we're going to talk to these two engineers and then we're going to go to the um, flight deck and go look for this um, professor morden fellow because it sounds like we really need him in case we run into any collectors so that's all for now Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and be sure to stay tuned for the next one. Until then, take care. Bye.